Hey, what is happening guys? Clickwood here back again with another Madden 18 Ultimate Team update for you guys. Today we have a brand new promo dropping. Well, I guess I shouldn't say it's dropping today, but it is going to be dropping, I assume, tomorrow. Uh, as of the time of this video recording, which is 11-3. So I'm assuming it's going to be out on Saturday, 11-4-2017. That is the Football Outsiders mid-season MVP awards. I don't even know what the hell they're calling these, but football outsiders essentially. And guys, there are going to be 10 new cards. No, excuse me, 12 new cards plus two limited edition cards. We're going to go through from the bottom as far as overall all the way up to the top. The top two are obviously the offensive and defensive MVPs, I'm assuming, from um, football outsiders essentially. So basically, guys, those are going to be limited edition cards, which is pretty damn cool. But with that said, let's hop into it. Let's take a look at the, the first couple of cards here that we have. We're starting off down at an 84 overall, and we have Packers running back Aaron Jones, who has definitely started to have a pretty good start to the season. Um, he took over essentially for Ty Montgomery when Ty Montgomery was injured, and it appears that he is going to be their starting running back going forward, so that's pretty cool. Congrats to him for that. Uh, we also then have a couple of other cards that are lower overall. We've got this Ken Crowley for the New Orleans Saints. The Saints secondary is certainly looking very, very good this year, which is a huge difference from usual because that team is usually quite trash in the secondary, but now they're looking pretty good. We do also have another Saints player, Ryan Ramsick. I, I think I'm pronouncing that per correctly. I don't really know much about him, to be completely honest with you, but their offensive line seems to be doing pretty well this year. Mark Ingram's putting together some nice fantasy numbers if you're a fantasy football player, so you probably are well aware that the right tackle plays a big part in that. So, yeah, Ryan Ramzik, nice card there. Now, this is the one where I think people are going to be pretty upset, and I am too, a little bit. Uh, Deshaun Watson gets you, gets you an 86 overall. Now, Obviously, we know that EA are scums, and they're not just going to give away a high overall Deshaun Watson in the middle of the season. But man, it just seems like an 86 overall is way too low for this dude. He did tear his ACL earlier this week, so it seems to me like he's probably not going to get many cards for the rest of the year. He might get like a most missed card or, you know, one of those weird things toward the end of the year, but he's not really going to be in packs probably anymore. So uh, it sucks that this might be the best Deshaun Watson card that we get f until like February-ish, March. And that's brutal, man, because this guy was on pace to win Rookie of the Year. I think he was pretty well running away with it. Well, Kareem Hunt was up there, too, and maybe a couple other guys. But, man, he looked very, very good. So it's frustrating that he didn't get a better card. But moving on, Roger Saffold of the Los Angeles Rams, 87 overall at a left guard. It's nice to get some more interior offensive linemen that are at least usable this at this point in the season. Then we have Cameron Brait, who's off to a pretty nice start this season as well. He's catching a lot of touchdowns, just like he did last year. A lot of people thought OJ Howard was going to take over that starting job. Does not appear to necessarily be the case at this point. Cameron Brait still holding on pretty tight right now to that starting job, and I don't really see that changing anytime soon as long as the Buccaneers are still getting him the ball and he's still doing pretty well. Up next, Jaleel Adai. Now, Jaleel Adai, 89 overall for the Chargers. He is certainly a guy that you wouldn't necessarily think of at first when you think of good safeties in the NFL, but he's a guy that could potentially have a pretty nice mutt card. Unfortunately, we don't know what the attributes are on these cards, at least. The up the upcoming ones, the uh, MVPs, we will get to see the attributes on those, but as of right now, we don't really have any idea what the attributes on these are, unfortunately. But he has 89 overall. Up next, we have Christian Kirksey. Now, he is a 90 overall. I just want you guys to think about this for a second, okay? The Cleveland Browns, who haven't won a game, have a 90 overall linebacker. Now, I understand individual players can certainly out, you know, outperform the majority of their team. And one player, certainly, especially on defense, is not necessarily going to give his team wins. I get it. But is Christian Kirksey really that much better than Deshaun Watson? who got an 86? I, I don't understand. I, I truly don't understand. Maybe somebody can explain to me in the comment section below. I understand that they take their existing cards and they upgrade them, but still, man, that seems very, very low for Watson and very, very high for Kirksey. Another guy who got a super high upgrade, De DeForest Buckner, 91 overall. 91 overall, what? I don't understand how you could possibly justify DeForest Buckner being a 91 overall. Again, 49ers, winless, 
don't look like they're going to be winning any games anytime soon. Maybe they'll beat some other just terrible team or something like that. But they look awful right now. And I don't understand how you could really justify giving a 91 overall card to a guy who's on a defense that gives up the most rushing yards in the league every week. Like, it's just embarrassing. I don't get it. But, you know, again, maybe you guys can let me know in the comment section below what I'm missing. 92 overall, Travis Frederick, obviously one of the best centers in the league, if not the best center in the league at this point. This one makes a, a good amount of sense, and I, I think. And I'm saying that, yes, as a Cowboys fan, but I think everybody can pretty much admit that the Dallas Cowboys offensive line is pretty damn good. They have been a little bit underperforming, actually, in the first half of the season, but they've been kicking it up into the next gear the past few weeks, and Travis Frederick has been a beast. Now you're on to the punters and the kickers. You've got Shane Leckler here, 93 overall at punter. He is going to be one of the better punters that we have for quite some time. Probably not going to be super expensive, I imagine, because he is a punter. But, you know, they, there could be some times where these guys just go up crazy in prices. Then we have a Harrison Buckter, a 93 overall kicker. But he does not have focus kicker. So what's the point? I don't really understand this. He probably has good accuracy, good for him, blah, blah, blah. It doesn't really make that much of a difference. We mostly care about the kick power still at this point in the game. And, yeah, Harrison Buckner just is not probably going to have any of the, the high overall uh, or the high important, I should say, uh, chemistries that you would need, like the, uh, the focus kicker one. That's extremely important. So, obviously, that's a little bit disappointing that he does not have that. So now let's move on to the limited edition cards, guys. And the first one of them, as you probably knew, was going to be Carson Wentz. Now, Carson Wentz is definitely having a nice start to the season. He's certainly on pace to be MVP at this point if he continues to do what he has been doing. But man, this card looks nasty, dude. It looks good. We're talking 90 throw power. We're talking 93 short accuracy, 90 mid, 87 deep. Good play action, good throw on the run. Good speed as well, 82 speed. That is really, really nice for a quarterback card at this point in the game. There aren't that many quarterbacks that are faster than that. Carson Wentz looks like it is going to be a super, super expensive card. So definitely, guys, if you're looking to pull packs, I would say pull packs. Try and get this Carson Wentz. He is going to be a beast. Now, the defensive MVP is Calais Campbell. Now, he is having a monster start to the season. Ten sacks already. I think he has two games where he has four sacks or something just ridiculous like that. Another monster game this past week. 94 tackling, 95 finesse move, 87 power move, 94 play rec, 94 block shedding. So, dude, he, had, can, he can pretty much do it all. He doesn't have the elite high-end speed. He only has 75 speed. But still, this is going to be a monster pass rusher and a great run defender as well. So yeah, there you have it, guys. I want to hear from you guys. What do you think about these Football Outsiders midseason players? If you guys enjoy these, make sure you drop a like on it on this video and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Let me know if there were any guys that you think got missed on this that should have a card that don't. I'm interested to hear that as well. Thanks again, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Drop a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll talk to you guys again soon.